Hillary Clinton has long criticized controversial for-profit universities as predatory institutions. But as NBC's senior investigative correspondent Cynthia McFadden found, Bill Clinton has made millions from one such school. Since announcing for president, Hillary Clinton has been a vocal critic of for-profit universities in general. We will crack down on predatory schools and of Trump University in particular. He is trying to scam America the way he scammed all those people at Trump U. But it isn't just Donald Trump who's profited. For five years, Bill Clinton was the honorary chancellor of the biggest for-profit education company in the world, Laureate Education, Inc. While Trump University is not accredited, and Laureate is, Bill Clinton was paid an enormous fee, $17.6 million over five years, visiting 19 campuses in 14 countries. The Clinton Foundation also got between one and five million dollars from Laureate. I admire Laureate's dedication to helping the next generation of leaders. Stepping down only 12 days before his wife launched her run for the presidency. There are students who take out loans to pay for an expensive degree from a for-profit institution, only to find little support once they actually enroll. But as Secretary of State, she praised Laureate, writing to her staff that founder Doug Becker is someone who Bill likes a lot, and that Laureate should be included in a State Department dinner. They were. Over the last three months, NBC News has taken a closer look at Laureate's U.S. flagship, Walden University. More than two dozen students tell us the school misled them, trapping them in staggering amounts of student loan debt. The five of you represent a million dollars of student debt sitting here. Yes. That's a lot of money. You've taken yeah. me from a successful career yeah. to poverty. Yep. Yeah. These five PhD students all claim Walden's constant churning of faculty and standards cost them to go further and further in debt while raking in profits for the university. They're part of a group of 80 students who hope to file a class action lawsuit. I had five committee members over the six years. So they kept changing. That's part of that scam that we are talking about. Laureate tells us their program is high quality, vigorous, and challenging. And a 2012 Senate report says Walden was perhaps the best of any company examined. Laureate and Walden declined to give us graduation rates for their PhD candidates, but pointed us to three students who said they were satisfied with their experiences, one who got his PhD on a full scholarship. Is it possible that you just don't have what it takes to get a PhD? Even then, they should have told us. You don't keep me That's here. That's right. They could have told me. They could have said, you are not cut out for this. Have a nice life. I've lost everything. I have nothing to lose. What would you like Bill Clinton to know? That he can forgive our loans. <laughs> he can do that. Yep. Because, see, I don't think he want to be representative of something that is basically um, unfair or unethical. He can't give us back our years, but he can give us back our dignity. Bill and Hillary Clinton declined to comment on these students' allegations, but a spokesman for Bill Clinton says he was pleased to support Laureate's mission to expand higher education, while Hillary Clinton's national spokesperson said all for-profit institutions should be held to the same standards and that she intends to crack down on bad actors. Well, one more thing. In addition to earning more than $17 million from Laureate, Bill Clinton was also paid more than $5.5 million by another for-profit school, Global Education Management Systems, the largest operator of K-12 schools in the world, headquartered in Dubai. What do these schools get for, again, $17.5 million uh, for Laureate and then now uh, about $5 million for the other? What sort of, what, what, what does that buy you? Well, I, I, I talked to uh, representatives of Bill Clinton office yesterday and they said listen uh, the president went to uh, 19 campuses in 12 countries he gave the commencement address at various ones addressed the students so he was a active participant they said not in creating the programs yeah. but in encouraging the well, it sounds like he was a pitchman uh, perhaps for these these for-profit schools as well fascinating fascinating reporting Cynthia McFadden always good to see you. thank you so much thank for stopping you. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.